Here's Josie and her sexy girl. Woo! Ow, I love her. Okay, now she leaves. And here I am by myself. Okay? You just saw a glimpse of, of, of a family. Okay? That, that most people in this country face every single day. A family. Okay? And I've seen people, when I was a realtor, when I was becoming successful, okay, people that are successful, children, are drug addicts, doing crimes, okay, you got people who are successful, and their children are doing things that are wrong. Then you got those with no families, that work their ass out to become somebody, and are successful. Okay, you think that somebody has a family, everyone's doing good, come home, evenings, and all that, which I haven't had in decades. Mom, dad, you know, that kind of thing. When I'm sitting here, lost, I haven't shaved, I look like shit, I feel like shit, okay? And, and... I got no money. And you guys are here to see what's going on, okay? Before I became a realtor, before I became somebody involved in real estate, I wanted to be a speaker. I wanted to show the world that just because you have a brand injury doesn't mean you can't become successful. This is before I was in real estate. Before I even thought about doing real estate, okay? But I never thought I'd become this low in my life. I'm not involved in drugs. I'm not involved in crimes, harassment, threats, whatever, okay? I'm not involved in trying to survive in the world, okay? And I can go on for three hours about what I need, okay? I want my mom back. She's dead. Can I call her? My dad? <laughs> Treat me like I'm a freaking two-year-old. Like a 16-year-old. Okay? My child? Okay, you want to go out and do something? You need money. Okay? Events, whatever. Okay? My son did nothing today. He needs to be out involved in the world, life, experiences. That costs money. Gas. Eating, food. Okay. We went to the zoo a long time ago. Long time ago. Okay. Then you have these people who are have wonderful parents. Wonderful parents. Fathers and mothers that are just Behind their child, their children, their grandchildren, their nieces, their nephews, 100%. As I, just, as I described in one video, you got a, a, a person charged with a crime, okay, a serious crime. And their parents said, please give my son a second chance, okay, judge, please, he won't do it again, okay. They're behind them 100%. Well, I didn't do a goddamn thing. And I have kicked with the curb. Okay, I've gained 20 pounds. Okay. Okay, the game continues. Ken Pollock, I think Jordan Costa, Lois Hames, Craig Donoff, Dr. Dina Dell, Sharon Johnson. The game continues. You think I'm just going to go to the kick of the curb and go look for food when I was a fucking realtor? Okay? You saw my thing out there about disabled lives matter, crossing out normal lives? What the fuck is normal? Okay? I look like shit. People ask me today, are you okay? What do I say? Yeah, I'm doing great. Got no money. Got no career. 
Got no objective in life. And I'll give you my child the best I can. Okay? He's my life. I have no choice but to take care of him. Give him what I never had. Okay, Lois Haynes, very influential. Okay, she can influence the Sheriff's Department to remove documents from the reports. She can influence the attorneys to do corruption and fraud, aiding anybody in a forged document. She can influence Dr. Dina Dill under my assumption. And I have a great I have a, a right to my assumption. No facts to back it up. But circumstantial evidence to back it up. That Lois Hames paid in the Dell and Sharon to walk away. That's my assumption. Can't back it up, can't prove it. Okay? And the reason why I have that assumption is because Dr. Dan Dell told me we can help you go after these attorneys. But only ten thousand dollars. Again, we can help you go after these. These are, this is after the summary judgment was approved. Rather than filing an appeal to the summary judgment, which they should have helped me do, which would have had to have the trial as a normal originally thought, so we can go after the the attorneys um, for only ten thousand dollars. Okay, and I told Dr. Dell that for emails. He's never responded back to me. Never. Okay. When someone lies, when someone does something de deceiving somebody else, they don't respond back. You got a fucking three year old, ten year old. Did you hit that kid? And what does the kid say? Nothing. Why did you hit him? He says nothing. Ten years old. Then you got adults. You confront them on something you think they've done. Not hitting that kid down the street. But being a part of a possible bribery. Possible. Okay? Lois can fluence anybody she can, any way she can, however she can, with any circumstances. Okay? There's a word that we use in this world called a pathological liar. Pathological liar. Under any circumstance. Not supporting your family. Not being a part of your family. You guys saw the, the newly revised deposition for court. The voicemails. My grandmother said to me specifically, I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad you left the house. You're doing okay. Okay, that's calling support for your for, for your for your grandchild. Okay, I don't have a child here. Okay. I'm not even giving them the best I can. First because I don't drive a car. I have epilepsy. So I can't drive. I can. But I can have to kill somebody by driving a car and not telling the DMV that I have epilepsy. I kill somebody, then I go to prison for Hitler or manslaughter, manslaughter, for for killing somebody, whatever. So I'm not going to go down that road. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. Well, I bet you hundreds of people, thousands of people out there with epilepsy who get their license. Don't tell them they have epilepsy. And they hurt and kill somebody. And then they're in prison. And I'm sorry they did it. I'm not going to put myself in that position. Okay? And as you guys have seen through all these videos, it's been in an honest way. Honest. No reason why we can't be honest. Honesty. Not deception. Okay? Deceiving the world. It comes back on you. It really does. Okay? What? Ellen Cohen? Henry Cohen? Okay. My aunt influenced them too. On hidden assets. I can prove it. So she can influence an attorney, two attorneys, three attorneys. Ken Pollock, Matthew Costa, Greg Donoff. She can influence uh, um, the Sheriff's Department to remove documents from a police report. Okay. She can. Oh, let me see. Here is my child, okay? I'm trying to give him the best love I can. Okay. Here he is, my girlfriend. Hi, Josie. Hello. Hi, Nigel. Nigel.
Okay. Oh. Here we are again. Okay. She can influence my grandmother's partners. She can influence the attorneys. She can influence um, the sheriff's department. And she can influence Dr. Jane Dell. Now, there are circumstances beyond all of that, behind all of that, is that she can influence the sheriff's department to remove documents from a sheriff's report. Then she can influence Dr. Jane Dell to do something and walk away. Okay? And I have a right to my free speech. Okay? Again, I'm not the smartest guy in the world. But there's a little common sense I know about. What am I doing right now? Zero. We went to the store. Went to 99 cents store. They have that here in California. They have that probably in, in Florida too. Okay. Went went to the home. And that's it. Why well, wait for a response back from the Florida bar on on the first offense, which is uh, Ken Pollock on uh, using corruption to win a case. And the second offense, I'm Ken Pollock, um, trying to get me, on, get me on entrapment, okay, which I've spoken to the attorney in Ohio, okay, waiting for him to, to file a complaint, okay, I'm not going to go there because I don't have that right to do with it, okay. So, wait on, on those things, okay, getting response back from... Other other detectives, other experts. Okay, it's a game you want to play. Go for it. I give you a lot of credit, Ken Pollock. Give you a lot of credit, Dr. Tony Costa, Craig Donoff, Lois Hames, Dr. E. Dale, and Sharon Johnson. Give guys a lot of credit. Okay, he sent somebody out there who's trying to make it in the world. Okay, and uh, the whole Sacramento Valley knows about Sacramento. Sacramento like Zylo Marshall. But I don't care anymore. Have a nice day. And I'm trying to get some uh, some news broadcasts. Okay. In Florida, several news stations. Okay. And nationwide. That's my next objective: to go nationwide. And in Florida, a news broadcast. Maybe Dr. Phil. Okay. Um, Sixty Minutes. Um, Dateline NBC. Um, inside edition, those kind of things, okay? It's going to take some time to go out there and do that, but I will do that, okay? Most importantly, the 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 um, news broadcasts in Palm Beach, Florida, Palm Beach and Broward County, the Sun Sentinel, the Palm Beach Post, the Miami Herald, okay? Now that's my objective right now, okay? That, that's my objective. You guys see it, you guys heard it, you guys know it, okay? Based on the newly revised deposition, the newly revised deposition for court.